So I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm going to use this Tarte Clean Slate Primer. This just helps fill in my pores. And I really like it because it helps my foundation last all day. And I'm just going to spread that all over my face. Now I'm going to go in and correct my dark spots. I'm going to use this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW45. This is my favorite. So for foundation today, I'm going to use a new product that I have not used before. I actually just got it in the mail today. It's the Iman Luxury Concealing Foundation. I want to show you what it looks like compared to my Lancome foundation. It's pretty small, like the packaging. I wasn't expecting that, but um, this was, I think, $15 or $16 off of Amazon. I will put the link down below where you can purchase it. But yeah, I wanted to try it out because I've heard really good things about this foundation. And I got the color Earth 1, so hopefully this matches me. I've never tried it, so this will be my first time trying it out on camera. And I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques Expert face brush. I'm gonna pump it right onto the brush. Well, pump. I'm just gonna make little dots on my face. Like this. On the bottom half first, because I feel like it's gonna dry fast. And then I'm just gonna blend it into my skin. This color looks like it's matching pretty okay. Um, I would say it's about medium coverage it's not super full coverage and it has like a semi matte finish I guess it looks pretty nice though it's just not covering like I thought it would I'll just pump a little bit more on my brush a lot more on my brush and let's see if I can layer it up. Let's just pat it in instead of swipe. It looks like it is buildable. If you want fuller coverage, I would say pat the foundation in. And I'm sure with the Beauty Blender, this would look even more sheer. And the color looks like it's matching me pretty well. And it does blend into the skin very nicely. It doesn't look cakey or anything like that. It looks very skin-like in person. I'm just going to pump a little bit more. I go heavy with foundation anyway. So this will probably be gone in like a month. <laughs> Cause the bottle's so small. I do like this foundation though. I really do. And you guys know I am always using my Lancome foundation. But I would say this might be a really good drugstore dupe. Because my Lancome foundation is almost $50. But this looks very similar to my Lancome. Wow. I'm not sure how this foundation wears throughout the day, but I will have in the description box how it did on my face. My face is combination, not really oily, but combination. I get oily in my T-zone area and everything else is pretty normal. I would probably go with Clay 5, the next color underneath. Um, this one is a tad bit dark, but I can definitely work with it. So I would say the foundation does oxidize uh, one shade darker. So yeah. So now I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. I use this all the time. I have a full eyebrow tutorial. I will link that up here in the card so you guys can click it and watch it if you'd like to know in detail how I do my eyebrows. Just to clean up my brows a little bit, I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and this Ruby Kisses brush and I'm just going to go underneath my brow. This is going to clean up my brows as well as add a little highlight underneath them.
But when I'm going for more of an everyday look, I don't put any foundation or concealer on my actual eyelid because I just feel like it looks like your face looks more natural without anything on the lid. Just to prep my eyelashes for my falsies, I'm going to curl my real lashes. Cur ah! Crap! And then my eye starts watering. Mmm. No. Okay. So now I'm just going to add some mascara. This is the Lancome mascara. You can honestly use any mascara of your choosing. So now I'm just going to throw on my eyelashes. So now just to define my eyes a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner. Now I'm going to go in with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer again, and I'm going to place this underneath my eyes. This just helps brighten underneath that area and conceal underneath there. And it also helps like shape my face too. Now I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend out that concealer without actually having to explain what I'm doing. I could do this in about 15 minutes. I just take the rest along my nose area right here, just the rest of the product, and then just pat it up into my forehead. Put a little bit on my cuticle, and a little bit on my chin right here. I don't add any more product, especially if I'm in a rush. So now I'm just gonna set my face. I'm gonna use this rose gold brush from Real Techniques. And I'm gonna use my Graftobian powder. And I'm gonna use that powder to set underneath my eyes. And if you're doing your makeup and your brushes are dirty, your makeup is not gonna come out flawless. I guarantee you that. Every time I do my makeup and my brushes are dirty, if I've used them over two times, my makeup comes out so bad. So wash your brushes, people, and your sponges. I'm gonna take a little bit more, put it on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and on my chin. So with the same brush, because I don't like washing brushes, I'm gonna take my CoverGirl Queen bronzer and I'm gonna dip that part into it and I'm just going to chisel my cheeks a little bit. And just bring the rest into my forehead and all that good stuff. I'm just gonna bring the rest along my jawline and right here. So next you have to go in and highlight. I'm going to use my favorite. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm going to use the color bronzed. I'm just going to put that right here. Put the rest right here. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin. Bring some a little bit further down. Put a little bit on my nose area and on the bridge. And I take a little bit above, below my eyebrow bone, or on my eyebrow bone, like that. So for my lipstick today, I'm going to use Fudge by Anastasia. Oh, I forgot one more step. I'm going to spray my face with this MAC Fix Plus Spray, just to set everything in place. You basically want to shower in that stuff. Fan it out. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed how I do my makeup when I'm in a rush. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and thumbs up this video if it helped you out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.